Uh, in this grasshopper example, for what we want to do is to make a series of point attractors on a rectangular surface. Uh, let me explain about the algorithm so you can use it even better. First of all, we have a rectangle which you can change the size uh, in the xy direction because we have given it a number slider. It's going to be from zero to that number. So this is going to control the rectangle. Then we have converted that into a mesh. We can turn on it with control M or display preview mesh uh, on and off. Uh, this is a U count and a V count. So we can give this for the UV division. So here you can see that we can change the number of UV divisions and this is going to be the base mesh. Uh, now what we have to do is to use the deconstruct mesh, which you can find from mesh uh, deconstruct mesh here, get all of the vertices of the mesh. And now we have to define the point attractors. Uh, assume I right click here and set multiple points. Uh, one, two, three, for example, these are going to be the uh, three control points, uh, point attractors. And now what we have to do is to use the vector point pull point uh, component. It's going to uh, pull the uh, vertices we have on the mesh towards the attractors and find the smallest distance, which you can find here. Uh, also, if you go and draw a curve line from these vertices to the pull point, you can see that's going to automatically uh, pull towards those points, which is also a useful tool. Uh, for the Pufferfish plugin, uh, we have used this reparameterized number, which you can find it in the number reparameterized number here, which is a really great tool. What it does, it's going to convert all of the distances into between zero and one. Uh, and give it as an output. This is uh, really useful if you want to scale the numbers from whatever they are into zero to one, and that is going to be useful for graph mappers and other things. If you want to uh, invert the domain instead of zero to one to one to zero, you can just right click here and invert it, and it's going to give you just uh, the inversion of the outputs. Now we have uh, changed the, the distribution from whatever we have from the point attractors to a graph mapper. This is going to control the output we will have here. Let me just turn this off. And if I invert it, you can see that this is going to invert the output. But anyway, this is just fine. And this graph mapper is going to affect the final results. Uh, let me give you uh, an output of this displace mesh so you can see the output. Uh, okay, uh, because it's between zero and one, we can multiply that with a, a number slider to give it a multiplication, to give it the height. And remember that you can also use any other graph mapper, maybe a busier distribution. And a good thing about graph mapper is that you can combine graph mappers. So for example, I can uh, combine a sign with a Bezier distribution, which is going to also give you an interesting output. And the multiplication is just going to multiply the heights. So remember that these point attractors, if I turn them on and I have the display uh, gumballs on, we can just move them around and see the output. Uh, okay, after we have that, we have used the puffer fish uh, mesh and there is a tool called displace mesh. And what it does is going to move a uh, mesh based on the distance we give on the vertices. So it's really easy. You just have to give the mesh and the distances is going to be, each distance is going to be towards the vertices it has. Uh, now, when we give that to the displacement, this is going to give us the final mesh, which is really cool. And you can have that deformed as a point attractor. Uh, another thing you can do here is to uh, use the VivaWorld plugin. Use this one, Mesh Thicken. You can give this a number slider. This is going to give you uh, the thickness for the mesh. And let me turn this off so you can see the final results here. This is the thickness. I think there is an option here in the T, Hypothensis Average. Uh, you have to make this smaller to see that. And there is the distance on diagonals. And I think the third one doesn't work. So these two options work uh, for giving it a thickness. Another way you can do that is to go to the pufferfish uh, mesh and use this offset mesh tool. Just give the mesh to the mesh and give the distance to the D. And now you can see that you can also use that because it's going to give you a closed mesh. So 
both of them are going to work and then what we have to do is to uh, simply let's just turn this off give that to the vivabird cat ball clock subdivision you can find it here and if i give that to here and turn this on it's going to smooth that this is the level of smoothing so if you put it to zero it doesn't it's not going to smooth it and one and two is the maximum i think and if i hit Control m the mesh edges is gone we can use that for deformation it's really cool and remember that you can always uh, change the location of the point attractors okay and at the end uh, you can also show the mesh edges for this one you can just go to the mesh mesh edge and show the mesh edges so you can see that too okay uh, i'm going to save this file so you can use that and i hope this video is going to help you to understand how to use the algorithm if you have any question ask below this example file and thanks for watching see you next time bye remember that you can download these uh, example files all from our website parametrichouse.com and remember to subscribe to our channel like this video share it with your friends and let me know in the comments uh, if any additional uh, examples you need so we can record the tutorial thanks for watching see you next time bye